Hi, and welcome to Times of Refreshing right here on our Scholar Thread Ministries Facebook page. We come live to you from our location right here. As you could see in the back of us, Ukraine. Um, to my left, on your, yeah, to my left, um, you would see there's a, that was a, once a, a church. And, um, you know, that got destroyed with the war. And just behind me is the Ukraine flag, right? So... We decided to use these, um, you know, backdrops this afternoon to remind everybody that here's what flower going up, right? But there's a reason why, you know, there's still a war going on and flower is just one of the many things that went up. You know, everything else it has had a ripple effect on everything, on car parts, on electricals, on everything that has to be imported. I mean, first it was COVID and now the war, so it... COVID had already put a strain on the um, transportation by sea to get goods to us and that kind of thing. But, you know, just last night I was saying that we here in Trinidad, we could survive even if we don't have imported food. A lot of people are planting, farmers are planting a lot, and we could eat what we produce here in Trinidad, right? So I just want to let you all know we don't have they don't have to worry about that but at the same at the same time don't stop praying right also this afternoon before we start you know i was thinking as well <laughs> sometimes you know we do we live our lives we be the best at our professions um we try to be the best in ministry um and you know you have your career happening and whatever and Sometimes we have to stop and think, what is my purpose in doing this? Am I doing it for praise from men? Am I doing it for um, an award, right? Um, what am I doing it for? You know, stop and ask yourself that this afternoon. What am I doing it for, right? And if you don't have a reason why you're doing what you're doing, well, a good reason to, to, um, to consider, right? is that am I reaching the ones that, you know, the Lord wants me to reach and impact? You know, am I coming into connection with people that he wants me to maybe uplift or reach out to or encourage, right? So that could be a reason. Ask the Lord to send people your way where it is, you know, you, like the Bible say, iron sharpened iron, where you could encourage somebody, build them up, right? So, Stop and ask yourself today, why am I doing what I'm doing? Am I doing it for praise from men, for an award? What am I doing it for? Right? So <clears throat> that is a little sobering um, fact there. So we'll just open up with a word of prayer and then we'll start. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Heavenly Father, we just praise you this evening, oh God. Lord, we just um, thank you, oh God, Lord, for your hand upon our lives. We thank you for the opportunity for ministry, oh God, Lord. Heavenly Father, most of all, we ask, O oh God, Lord, that um, your will continue to be done in our lives, O oh God, Lord. We only want what you want for us, O oh God, Lord. And Heavenly Father, we pray for everybody who's out there who may be searching for answers, searching for their purpose um, here on earth, O oh God, Lord, that you would meet them at their point of need tonight, O oh God, and comfort them and let them know. It's not a matter of beating up themselves, oh God, but it's just a matter of just seeking you, reading your word, oh God, Heavenly Father. And it may be a simple, it may be a very simple answer rather than a technical one they may be looking for, oh God, Lord. But Heavenly Father, I pray, oh God, that none of us will die prematurely, but we will accomplish and fulfill all that you have us to um, do here on earth while we're here, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> yes, so we remember in Ukraine. We don't want people to forget that there's a war going on. And, and, and you know, because of, of the, you know, globalization, what happens in Ukraine affects the entire world. We have people mm -hmm. in Africa, um, food prices going on. There are farming across there. You have Trinidad, um, flower prices, rice going up, staples and things like that. So... What what we we have to pray for Ukraine because if you pray for Ukraine, what's going to happen is that um, we will would be, and benefit from from peace in in the you know in Ukraine and in, in the Middle East and wherever the, these conflicts are. So um, and that is some of the things we have to take into consideration. We have to understand that 
Um, we live in a global community, as they say, and one, one, um, any, you know, if something happens to a particular country, it affects us. Venezuela had their uh, financial issues, and look, look at affect Trinidad as well too, and many other countries. Mm -hmm. So. We are one body, and we have to look at the body of Christ like that too, the church. Um, if something is affecting one part of the body, it affects all, and as a principle that as Christians we should live by and forget about yeah. um, people who leave your church or people who go on in another ministry or, 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 or you know, and they're not from my church or my denomination and things like that. So we have to understand that we are all connected by the Spirit of the living God. Um, mm -hmm. And once we are born again, and once we have <laughs> Jesus Christ as our Lord, and as we have been seeing that for, for, for the longest while here, that we are part of our body. We are, we are not independent churches, no independent ministries, no independent um, denominations, Christian denominations, that is. So we have to look at these things and we have to understand that what happens to what, oh, and, and that's why and the Bible refer to all of us as brothers <coughs> and sisters, mm -hmm. you know? So we belong to one big family. So... Today, now, um, as I said, we cel we, we've been celebrating, but we remembering and reminding people that there's still a war going on in Ukraine and it's affecting everybody. And for those people mm -hmm. who got cold and stopped praying for peace in Ukraine, um, um, they, and they have to understand that, I mean, don't stop until they, uh, until they achieve the goal. And they don't stop yeah. halfway. God honors people who are consistent, which is one of the definitions of faith. Consistency, yeah. as we discussed uh, a few times on this program. But... And today I want to talk a, a little bit about um, the garment of praise. Mm -hmm. The garment of praise. La last week, Wednesday, I told you, and I, I prayed for it, I told you, like a sensing a heaviness and a depression in the atmosphere. And yeah. I sensing that. And then we had a rough weekend. Ten people mm -hmm. died. Then, a lot, you know, on Monday when mm -hmm. I came up, you know, a lot of accidents on the highway. Uh, accidents, you know, I, 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 a lot of accidents I saw, but there were others. A lot of things were happening over the weekend, like, the, the, and the devil was loose over Trinidad and Tobago um, yeah. from Thursday going into Monday. But as I said before, um, I want to discuss the garment of praise. And we want to discuss what that is for and how you use it. And mm -hmm. what is the garment of praise? So, the, 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 um, and before I go into it, uh, what I want to speak about um, while doing the background is that J uh, Jesus in, um, in Luke chapter 4, verse 17 and 18, he spoke about the spirit of the Lord is upon me. But what mm -hmm. happened with that script here is that every Sabbath, thousands of years ago, the synagogue service <clears throat> has focused on the reading of the Torah, which is the five books of Moses or the law and the prophets. And this is mentioned in Acts 13 and verse 15. And for dozens of centuries, the tradition has been to read through the Torah <laughs> over a year and to read the correspond correspondent passage from the prophets. Now, the prophets... Uh, in the, 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 the Hebrew Bible and in those days, there were not as many pro prophetic books <coughs> excuse me, in the, um, in, the, in the Hebrew Bible. Um, I think mm -hmm. there were just about 10 or 15 books in the Hebrew Bible. Um, and prophetic books, and that is, um, with Jeremiah and, and the major prophets. But they didn't have as much um, prophets or minor prophets as they are now in the Bible. So every Sabbath, what happened is that the Jews used to go into the synagogue they would read the Torah, which is the law, and they would read a corresponding passage from the prophets, which is like if they, if they speak about Genesis 1-1 and they speak about in the beginning, God put the heavens and earth, they would look up for a, a, a verse from the book of the prophets to correspond with that, where God say, I will do this and I will do that and I will um, think. So I saw that a lot of times in it. So we have to understand how the Jews work and, and what they did. And I try to read it within a year. Now, they, and they have two years or three years, but and they call it the Parsha or Pasha. When some places they call it a um, um, Parshad or Parshot, or, or which is a little piece. Excuse me. Now in Acts chapter 13 and verse 15, we see where, and after the reading of the law and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent unto them, saying, Ye men and brethren, if ye have any word of exhortation for the people, see on. So here it is now. Um, and this is Paul you're speaking about. Paul and, 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 and the apostles went to the synagogue and they read the Torah, they read the passage in the prophets. After they read it now, what happened is they asked Paul and them to give an exhortation on the word um, um, for the people. So in those days, you find a visiting rabbi or a visiting teacher or somebody would come and, and speak. Uh, similarly, in the church today, you find 
a lot of churches invite other preachers to come and minister in their church. So this is what used to happen with the Jews. Now, in, in, um, in, 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 in Luke chapter 4 and verse 17, and this is what happened. What happened there now was that Jesus went to his home church, right, which is Nazareth. And he stood up in his hometown and read the, the scroll from Isaiah. More, most unlikely, uh, Jesus uh, probably read the Torah portion, but it wasn't a mention in Luke. So uh, what happened? Uh, what uh, Jesus said? And a lot of people quoted, but I want to show you where it is not complete. It is not a complete scripture, but Jesus quoted. So he said uh, <clears throat> in, in verse 17 of Luke, um, chapter 4, it says, And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Now this is Luke 17, when Jesus went into the temple, in, in the synagogue and he was reading but that scripture came from isaiah 61 chapter 61 and verse 1 and it's a continuous um you know it, it, it didn't stop there but but um this is what luke recorded uh, that jesus mm -hmm. read it was from isaiah 61 and verse 1 and this is the original uh, is the original um text back in the hebrew um it says and this is isaiah 61 and verse 1 it says the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. In verse 2, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And this is where um, Luke stopped um, um, after Je um, um, Jesus spoke. But it goes on in the same verse to say, um, apart from saying to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and it goes on to say, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort mm -hmm. all that mourn. Verse 3, and it still continue to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified, and it ended, it continues a little more, but in the Old Testament, it ends there in the in the King James Version. And this is where right. I wanted to go because uh, Jesus said, yes, the Spirit of the Lord was upon me and he has anointed me. But I, I wanted to look at it from, from the, the, the Old Testament because the title of my discussion today is The Garment of Praise. Yeah. And that's what Jesus uh, and the scripture says. It says the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. I was mm -hmm. spoke about that on Wednesday. We prayed against that. Or we pray to expose it, but, but not to remove it, to expose it. So people would recognize the spirit of heaviness that is in the atmosphere and around them, and they have to know what to do about it. Instead of allowing that heaviness to, 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 to dominate them to, um, and determine how they see the world and how they react. And this is the reason for my discussion today. Now, when um, in, in, in Isaiah 1, I'm um, 61 and 1, when, and the, and the Bible says that, he had anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek, to, to the poor. The same thing I translated here. He had sent me to bind up the broken heart. And now, to bind him is to bandage up, right? And to bandage up. But broken hearted, in the original Hebrew text, it means inner man. <clears throat> it, it all means um, broken hearted. It means the inner man, right? The, um, the, to bind up the broken inner man. So how there is the inner man. So what it is... Um, and the Bible is saying here that and, and Jesus said he came and that scripture is fulfilled in, in your ears today because he said he came to bind up the, 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 the broken inner man because the inner man was um you know he, he was in this he was broken he, um sin was uh and sin abound and Jesus came um so that once somebody is born again and that's binding up the inner man and you're born again all things become new and behold all things are all things are passed away. All things become new. So what Jesus came now, he came and he gave us the Holy Spirit to bind up our inner man. Right? And then he said to mm -hmm. proclaim and proclaim liberty to the captives. And look at what he's going to say. And the opening of the prison to them and that are bound. And what that word prison here it means eyes. So Jesus came now not only to, to bandage or, 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 to, or to bind up or to, or to put the inner man together. 
right? He also came to open the eyes of them that are bound, right? So some people, if he, you know, in, in this scripture, he says that and the people's eyes were, were, you know, the veil was over their eyes and, and the curtain, and the eyes were uh, literally bound. So what, what um, Isaiah is saying here that, um, um, the, you know, the eyes are going to be open, to open their eyes, right? The eyes of those are that are bound. But then he go on now, um, and this also Jesus said to proclaim, uh, proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance. Vengeance is real. Is revenge. So he came claim, came came to proclaim the vengeance of the Lord, the revenge of our God to comfort all that mourn. So he didn't only come here um, to, 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 to make peace and strong. He also claimed, he, he came also to proclaim the acceptable of which is the, 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 the blessing here. And and, and that's um where the here, the domain here, yeah, it means season or an appointed time. Right? So yeah, there means season winter spring and whatever it is to, to 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 proclaim the blessing the 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 um the the um and blessed season of the lord and the day of revenge of our god to comfort all that mourn so people were mourning here it is he he, he defeated the enemy he, he destroyed the enemy he he, he descended into hell and he took the keys to hades and then he ascended into heaven he defeated mm -hmm. death and he took the, and the keys to hades so he came to exact revenge right exact revenge the day of revenge um of our god and, and that is what he did and and, and that's because i was of satan did to mankind to comfort all those that mourn right so then he went on and verse three now to say to a point to put in place unto them that morning zion morning there's calamity people who are experiencing calamity or, 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 or people are literally a morning somebody who died to give them, and he continues now to give them beauty. Beauty there means a tiara or a turban for ashes. As in Job and some of the Old Testament, you know, when um, somebody died or something happened um, to one of the Old Testament um, people, and, and they throw ashes on themselves, throw ashes on their head. Job threw ashes on himself, and another thing. So he, he came to give um, the people, and Jesus came to give the people a tiara or a turban for instead of the ashes. The ashes are that they had on their head a while they were mourning. The oil of joy for mourning. You, you see, speaking about mourning here. Then he said, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Now, what is the garment of praise? And this is where I want to um, spend some time today. The garment, that word garment there means a, a mantle. To put on a mantle or a cloak. The root word of that, uh, the Hebrew root from that, the, the word used for mantle here or garment, it means glory. So here it is now. Jesus came, right, to, to comfort all those who mourn, to give you the joy of gladness <coughs> and the garment of praise, <coughs> the mantle of praise, the, the cloak of praise, cloak yourself in praise, right? Praise there means a, 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 a song of praise. Or, or if you want to say a psalm or something. So for the, the, the uh, uh, um, and put on a garment or a mantle, put a mantle on yourself or a, a, a cloak, right, of praise, which is a praise song or, 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 or praising God for something. Mm -hmm. For the spirit of heaviness. The spirit right. of heaviness is the breath, breath of the mouth. We're not speaking about the Holy Spirit here. The breath of the mouth is, is what um, Isaiah was speaking. And, and um, heaviness, there's feeling or weakness. So what does Isaiah say now? What did Jesus come to do? He, he, he come to make sure that, you know, and to give unto us the spirit, the, 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 the garment of praise, the mantle, the cloak of, of praise, of praising and being thankful and being grateful, Right? For the spirit of heaviness, for the spirit of failure, for the spirit of weakness, right? And and sometimes I, I feel the reason why they use um, um, breath of the mouth is because what people say, right? And people say things that 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 that, 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 have, that, that create an atmosphere of failure and create. And, and I see a lot of psychologists and they look on on social media. Everybody talk about your mouth and your, there's all them and people with um, Gaia and all them other. Um, and people with, with, with the new age thing, they speak about um, uh, about saying positive things. Some people say, we say positive things, good will fall you and things like that. All I'm saying is that this is what the Bible said and, and in the book of Isaiah. You will have what you see. When you feel the spirit of heaviness, the spirit of failure around you, you feel and like a spirit of weakness in your weakest hour, praise God. Yeah. And that's what I was saying. Uh, yeah. I, I was saying to people, praise God in any situation. And we see that a lot of us seeing people posting them thing on Facebook, but then or or anything YouTube or whatever it is. But are we taking the advice? 
So last week now, and uh, you know, we, we exposed this period of heaviness. Um, uh, I'm over trying to be able, I want people to do the fat whole weekend. Mm-hmm. Men get shook, come out of the fat. A man get 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 whole whole for rubbing. Um, people in the fat, people come out of the fat, they get an accident. I, I saw people on the side of the road. I'm going up north on Monday morning when they run off the road and they kind of on the hood. And I know they wasn't dirty and wet, or whatever, it, or whatever it is, wet and dirty and stink, or whatever it is mm-hmm. the, the, the fat was, because they had only outfit, the carnival outfits. So here it is, they went there now, and they play a mass, and then they're going home sleepy and drunk, right? And they're going home sleepy and drunk, and end up in an accident, they mash up the car, and, and they pass me any highway, and I pull aside and, 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 and allow them to go with young people. So they mash up the car, and a lot of things happen. I'm not saying that people shouldn't enjoy themselves, but bring God into your life. And, and, and for the spirit of heaviness, fat, it will get rid of the heaviness. What's going to happen? Praise, thanksgiving, uh, and giving God thanks for, for the things they have. There are so many things. Uh, and we can thank um, people for, do look at the news alone and say, well, oh, good, cool, you see what happened in Ukraine? You see, and you see what going on in Ukraine, that war and this war and people fighting and people dying, yes, but look at Ukraine. It's going on three or four months now. Look how many days and Russia has not defeated Ukraine. <coughs> uh, when there was, uh, 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 when they decided to invade, thank God for that. The Ukrainians have something to thank God for. Look how many children and their mothers have been able to get out of Ukraine, Right? Mm-hmm. So they're saving a whole generation outside of Ukraine. They will go back because Israel um, uh, lost a whole generation. But those who, who were in the, in, the, in the diaspora, they went back to Israel and they built Israel. So Ukraine mm-hmm. is going to be rebuilt because they, they, mm-hmm. and they're saving the generation. This generation, the younger one who will remember. And the mothers mm-hmm. and other people, they will teach their mm-hmm. children. You look at Ukraine now, <clears throat> the whole world is supporting them. They're getting ammunition to fight the war. They're getting the support from the world. So Ukraine yeah. have something to be grateful for. Do look at the mm. buildings that burn up and um and, and the current that, situation. Yeah, uh, it could be rebuilt, right? Yeah. It could be rebuilt as just experienced and they're going through. But look at the, 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 the things that they should be grateful for, right? There's so much to be grateful for, even in Ukraine. Look at the next thing too. And, 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 and what I'm quoting is, 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 is what you were seeing in the news today. So it's quick in yeah. Afghanistan, a thousand dead. Hmm. A thousand people dead in, in, in Afghanistan it had an earthquake, right? Afghanistan has a few million people, right? The last time, um, 4,000, 2,500 people died, must be about 20 years ago in an earthquake, and then a few hundred died afterwards. You should be grateful. Say, okay, it had an earthquake, right? A thousand people died. Praise God for that. 1,500, 2,000 people were injured, but they didn't die, right? So you look at, you always have to look at the, at the, at the, at the areas to thank God. The people who survived that earthquake and they didn't die, they have a reason to thank God. Thank God, I didn't die in the earthquake. Right? The people who died, mm-hmm. if they know Jesus Christ, they go say, thank God, I knew Jesus Christ. So even if you yeah. die in Christ, right? You, or, or, you, you, you still have something to be grateful for, that, and that is not a punishment. And when mm-hmm. somebody died, they ain't going to hell, uh, and, uh, uh, unless they make themselves on uh, um, the life and right with God, right? And with Jehovah. So there is so much to be great and grateful for. You're going down the road now, and again, accent, bam, you die in the car. Because, oh, the unlucky boy, no. I could have been in a bed suffering, crippled. I was reading a book with a woman who, who was saved in an accident. Her sister died in the accident. She had to go through life um, with, 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 with a disability. And, and she, she had to live in a wheelchair, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody said, thank God, I know mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. I didn't have to go through that. But God yeah. allows certain things for, for, for him to be glorified. And that's why he say that he might be called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Everything we go through, everything we experience, must or should bring glory to God. <coughs> and how do we bring glory to God? How is God glorified? God is glorified by our thanksgiving, by being grateful for the things that we, uh, we receive from God. Right? And, and, mm-hmm. and that is what um, Jesus came to do, to show us what he must be grateful. Right? <coughs> he must be grateful. Yeah. Are we supposed to be grateful for Jesus? And uh, Jesus... And Jesus says, death on the cross. We should be grateful. For, I'm grateful for that. Some people say, oh God, I should not beat him and kill him. Yes, that is what mm-hmm. he came for. And that is what yeah. glorifies God. And that is what gives God the victory. That and is what he knew God. he came to do that too. That's why he bled. Um, that's why he sweat blood. True. And that's why we God receive salvation. Him. We will receive salvation. And, and his death on the cross is what <clears> defeated <throat> Satan. Because as, and when he died, he went down into hell. And he, he, he took the keys to Hades. To, uh, and, and at the end now, as he is Lord of the heavens and the earth, death, hell, and the grave will be cast into the lake of fire. Why? Because of Jesus' victory. 
he paid the price for it. And God was glorified. So we can't come and say, oh God, they beat up Jesus, he bleed, and they hang him on a cross. Why do that? That is, is, is the ways of God. God's ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And as, as far as the east is from the west, so is God's ways higher than our ways and his thoughts higher than our thoughts. Look at the floods in China today, right? 500,000 mm -hmm. people are over this place. There are floods in China. Where was it? A thousand people die in Afghanistan, 500 affected in China. Thank God people are drunk because it had floods in China where it killed thousands of people. Yeah. Right? And, and destroyed a lot of places. You, must, you, you will always find something to thank God for, to be grateful for. You must always mm -hmm. do that because that, by doing yeah. so, we glorify God instead of complaining and, 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 um, and, 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 you know, speaking and, and pushing the spirit of heaviness through your mouth. The spirit of heaviness comes through your mouth because, and the spirit there is the breath of the mouth, right? The, of the feeling and the weak is your mouth. So if you only focus in on negative things and saying, oh, yeah, well, this bad and food prices going up, yeah, God, you, you, listen, even the sparrows and them do work and God still provide for them. We have to have the faith yeah. in God. <clears throat> and we, and if the, anytime we complain, we no longer glorify God going through the, the um, problems or the experiences or the challenges that we're experiencing. If we don't glorify God, then, then what's going to happen? We will continue walking around with the spirit of heaviness because it's what comes out of your mouth. And that's what um, uh, uh, Isaiah is saying here, right? And look at mm -hmm. a simple thing as security in Canada. A simple thing as security. All the parliamentarians in Canada, right? All. Including Prime Minister, well, the Pell Big Stone behind. I, I feel, I know if it's Trinidadian, because you know, and Trinis, I like the Pell Big Stone. I don't know if it's mm -hmm. Trinidadian, but they Pell some big stone behind the Prime Minister of, um, of, of, of Canada, right? So he yeah. and that, had to take up that secure area. So the people in Canada, the, and there's a lot of unrest, a lot of problem. So what they do? They give all the Canadian parliamentarians, uh, um, uh, what, what they call it, a, 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 a gadget to press to, um, to call security, a panic button. As yeah. they call it, right? So here, what one of the MPs saying about and this Canada? You no, know, there's not Afghanistan, Pakistan, nowhere in Africa, and they say going on. I'm, I'm nowhere in in in, in India. You no, know. it's yeah. Canada, North American country. This is what a member of Parliament is saying. Her name is 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 Miss S. Gro. Right here, what she's saying. I think, and she's speaking of the parliamentarians, asked, um, and the danger they experience in the people are wanting to bust their head. No, any. It's not only Sri Lanka that's going on. Mm -hmm. I think women are more vulnerable and feel much more vulnerable as well. So improving security for all parliamentarians. It's unfortunate, but we seem to be in a difficult time in society right now. There's a lot of nasty, angry, frustrated people. We're talking about Canada, you know? An North mm -hmm. American country, you know? mm -hmm. This is not Sri Lanka or Pakistan or... or, 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 or somewhere in Africa or something. You know, we're talking about Canada and the situation going first on there. first world country. Yeah, right? more like and the situation yeah. going on there. The parliamentarians are to hide. Right? So what? You, you have to be... Uh, people are not grateful for what they live in, so they want to kill all... Uh, they want to kill boss the head, wherever it is. Right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then you find food, fuel and food prices going up all over the world. It causes widespread protests. All over Ecuador have a of protest course. now. People in the street marching. All over the world. Mm -hmm. So what you do? Mm -hmm. We, as Trinidadians, well, if they're not grateful, we are grateful for the stability in our country. We are grateful that the um, today the Ministry of um, Agriculture, um, um, DEFCO, right, said that we have 1.15 million pounds of um of, of um cassava. We have 1.07 million pounds of um of no 1.15 million pounds of, of sweet potato. 1.07 million pounds of cassava. We can make flour. We can feed ourselves. We can feed ourselves. What they want to do is like that. True. Yeah. Or oh, sudden flour, and, and you want to complain. Or the prime minister said this, and the government. Now it's not that time. Is the whole world going through turmoil? Exactly. Time, you have to be grateful. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, yeah. and, 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 and you have to put on the, 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 the mantle of praise. You have to praise to thank God for the things, and the, you know, for and instead of talking. Because it's the, it's the breath, the, the breath from the mouth that, uh, that, that um, is, is the spirit of heaviness, right? It's the breath from the mouth, the, 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 the speaking of the failure yeah. and the weakness. So we have yeah. to understand now that we have to give God praise. How else? And, and, and then we have to look at another way. We, if we don't give God praise for the things we have, then we are ungrateful. 
and we become sure. an ungrateful bunch of people because you're complaining about flour. But here it is, Namdev goes saying, hey, look, we have cassava, so what's wrong with that? Yeah. What is wrong with that? Mm -hmm. Right? And what is you wrong with that? You can make cornmeal dumpling. You can make cornmeal dumplings. There are so many things that we so can many, make. So many, yeah. Sources we have. <clears throat> look, my True. cousin Arad, he plant a set of cabbage up in Parliament. Right? Plant a set of cabbage. A white fly eat it up, he get pressure, he lose the money. You know what they do? The government import foreign cabbage, so they couldn't sell the white cabbage where the leaves and them and green. So what do you do? Mm -hmm. He had to give his children that for them to go and make a hustle. So he lost money, but the government is studying people um, uh, and planting and, 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 and we are local farmers, right? Mm -hmm. why, why import things like cabbage when you are local farmers who plant anything, right? Yeah. And it can get a white cabbage to buy or it can, if, it, if, it, if it's expensive, you, you know, and, and, and it have cheaper ones. But the point is, yeah. you have to be grateful. We have to be grateful for what we have, that, that we mm -hmm. have food on the table. I grew up in the 60s. And no, at no time have I ever gone hungry or gone to bed mm -hmm. without a meal. Yes, there are people who have experienced that, but I thank God for that. And you know what? And in them days, my mother had given me bake, because she was parliament, bake and cocoa tea and a butter in it. I eat in that food, make for the belly and the belly, and make for food. It's not your mind. Mm -hmm. When people mm -hmm. study, when I ain't like that, or I ain't want this, it's not your, it's your mind telling you I ain't want that because they want this. But if you're hungry, now you can win. And you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we have to be grateful for what we have. So you can't mm -hmm. afford chicken and chips every day. Well, buy it once a week. Buy your own That's chicken right. and fry it. So the whole family yeah. will because get Yeah, yeah, because everything going up again. So yeah. doubles going up. Well, then make a sandwich in the morning and have doubles maybe a couple times for the month. That is all. Maybe it working out good for your cholesterol too. Obviously. Obviously, it's it working out. Everything working out. It's how out. you look at it is your perspective, you know. You Rather see, than you sit down there and complain. Then come up with an alternative where you could... Um, allow heaviness, weakness, mm -hmm. and, 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 and failure to come out your mouth. The breath. What has happened to it? What has happened to it? It would have like... And it, it will have like a couple influencers, and then the bandwagoners will just jump on and join it. They wouldn't stop and think for themselves. You understand? Like, oh, push look at food. We have to feed ourselves in a time like this, in a time where Russia and Ukraine in, in a war. We have food to feed ourselves. They wouldn't stop and think, but you want to jump on with influencers. And you don't stop and think for yourself. I agree. We have no, we, we don't have independent, the reason I have so much influencers now is because we don't have many independent thinkers. And, and the reason mm -hmm. why I'm saying that is because I have never been influenced or interested in nothing. And people who claim to be an influencer say, you know why? My influencer is Jesus Christ and his word, the Bible. Apart from yeah. that, nobody could influence me into nothing because you have so, so, somebody influencers, right? It's mad people. <laughs> I see a crazy, and they do add um, to the, um, before I come and I see an with a, a, a fellow who looked like a madman. He wanted to go and fight them um, and fight them and them fellas in, in some place in the um, in, in Silas. The diamond is an influencer. Mm -hmm. Come now, man. That is it. Yeah. You see, the media is giving him courage, the coverage. The media is giving him coverage. Right. So they give him, they, they, so because the media and people are looking at them, they might be laughing at them. Eh? People might be looking for entertainment and laughing at them, but these other people think they're influencers. Nobody <laughs> influencing me. I am my mm. grandchildren influencers. I am my children influencer. Well, not all of them, but the majority. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a yeah. grandchildren and children influencer. So I influence yeah. them. Why? Because Jesus Christ, is, he influences me. The word of God influenced me. And what I do, I influence my children with that too. Right? Not YouTube or, mm -hmm. or, or well, I, I'm YouTube. Changing the accent in Alex, but you will get back in the, in, 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 in the group later on if you spend some time with me. And I started to mm -hmm. talk like a Trinidadian. And he come, I noticed yeah. he changing the accent too. Alex ain't really coming yeah. with the accent again since, and since he going to primary school. Uh -huh. Because mm -hmm. training school now, it's when you're going to school and your peers go ask, well, how are you talking so like you look, I'm born in America? So, yeah. <laughs> but then know it's YouTube, but, and that happened because the children mm -hmm. were not mingling and mixing with. Um, other children in Trinidad because of COVID. But all that will stop. All that will go. The, and I just temporarily yeah, am not worried about that. But if yeah, it's one true. thing, the children will not be, will speak um, properly. Right? And nothing is wrong with that. But the point is, look, even YouTube is not influencing Alex and Jocelyn anymore. Mm -hmm. I went with, I, I, I met them on Saturday. 
I come up on Saturday. I think I had a client or something. So I go upstairs to play with two of them. So I say, hey, how come nobody have no um no iPad, iPad. and nobody have, have nothing? They say, Papa, here we're going on. We want you because they don't get to play with the iPad uni week now. So they get mm -hmm. and they say, Papa, here we're because they're going to primary school now. Mm -hmm. Papa, I mean, you could make a um a paper plane. I say, yeah, boy, I could make real paper mm -hmm. plane. I make two paper plane mm -hmm. and get them. I make him paper boat all that I look on YouTube. I'm making all kind of thing with paper that I used to make in primary school and give it mm -hmm. to them. So what is happening now, we as the grandparents have to influence our children. We have to teach them, right, how to get over the spirit of heaviness with, with, yeah. by putting on the cloak of praise. We cloak yeah. our children with praise. We speak praise around them. We put on the mantle of praise over our, our grandchildren, our children, right? Yeah. And that is the reason for, 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 for the world changing. I don't, I don't give up on these children and say they have all this um, crime and everything. There are many things we could thank God for. True. I could complain about the amount of accident I see on the road. But you know what? I say, Lord, thank you that I wasn't involved in any. I still find something to thank God for. Yeah. Instead, I said, good, you see what accident? All them stink and dirty mm -hmm. people, they stink and dirty right outside by me now. So I was mm -hmm. seeing it. You were here the night before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, You were yeah. here when they were setting up with all the lights and anything. But the point is, <clears> and the, okay, so they're going to stink and dirty. I ain't go. Thank God. I know Jesus Christ and I'm not going in that. But I'm not mm -hmm. going to complain and say, look at them people. And, and like if I jealous, they're going to stink and dirty. And you know yeah. what I'm saying? And laugh mm -hmm. at them and say, so, oh, they're going to the road. You should pray for people like that. Yeah. And find good things to say, you know. Lord, I thank you for bringing, for taking many of them home. And things mm -hmm. like that. And you know, the fellow snatching all the chain, you say, Lord, I thank you, people get back the chain. Mm -hmm. Right? So, so you're grateful for that. Yeah. So we can um, sit down and allow the spirit of heaviness to dominate us as Christian people, as as as, as a people on the whole, and dominate a nation mm -hmm. by only looking for faults and complaining about the price of this, the price. Well, pray and look for the exactly. good things. Exactly. to eat, man. Yeah. Yes, yeah. starving. So we go and you can't put a bar doubles every day. Go to ten dollars, right? Buy a half pound, a, a, a two pound of flour. Sell at them Chinese shop and them selling and flour by the pound. You, know? you can't yes, put a bag of flour. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's ten dollars a pound. Well, here what to do? Buy two pounds of flour and go and make doubles with it. I have yeah. twenty dollars. That more than two doubles you're getting. Mm -hmm. And China cheap, China ain't gonna. So find ways to thank God, to glorify God, not and not by bad talking and complaining and and, and allowing that spirit of heaviness um, to dominate us. We have to do something. We can't just mm -hmm. allow the enemy to uh, dominate and and we, the, the the world is looking to us, the church for for for, for answers, you know. True. The world is looking to us to give them the answers and show them the way, you know. Because no government, no tech, I'm technocrat, no scientist, nobody knows the answer to the things that we're experiencing now. The only people mm -hmm. who have the answer is the Christians who know Jesus Christ and those who read the Bible and, and, and those who, in whom the Spirit of the Lord dwell. We have the answer because the Spirit of the Lord has anointed us to preach the good news to the people because Jesus said mm -hmm. the same thing. <clears throat> yeah. The Spirit of the Lord has anointed us to preach the good news, to set the captives free, right? Um, yeah. to, 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 uh, to, and, and, to, and give people the oil of gladness for mourning. All who mourning and, and all who going on, we, the church, have the responsibility that Jesus Christ came here with. Because he told us, well, well I will carry on occupy till I come. Mm -hmm. You understand the point I'm making? So that's yeah. our responsibility. The church responsibility is to give people the answers. We might be able to walk miracles and say, okay, I got to turn on. I will turn a pound of flour into 10 pounds. But God works in mysterious ways. You don't know. You don't know, exactly. Right? Yeah. You don't know. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that flower might have done. The oil might stretch. You don't know. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Yeah. God, I agree God with what you're saying. God is miracle work in business. <clears throat> it's true. And as you say, it comes from your breath. It comes from your mouth. Yeah. These influencers the are getting that getting views and getting um um you know getting attention on social media. Of course, we could think on our own too, you know. Yeah. You know, why isn't the news influencing you? How Nam Defco put up, well, okay, so flower gone up, but we have millions of how much poundage of um root crop. provision. Yeah, root crop. And they talk about Dashina and those are the small farm farmers planting. Eh? They talk about yeah, all the cabbage. Yeah, lots of farmers planting. Mm -hmm. They talk about the cabbage and all the food crops coming out of Paramin, Arangwe, yeah. 
We, yeah, you you yeah. drive down the highway and you will see the amount of land that people plow and food plant, they plant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there are places that I do all, all the pine coming out from Princess Town and all them places. Right? Yeah. All these things farmers <laughs> plant, but they need support from the government. You have to yes. stop importing things that we, we have a lot of here. Yeah. Right? Stop importing yeah. things and support the farmers. And let me correct. tell you something. It, correct. I know what to say. That could have been a big discouragement, but what the farmers did. The farmers know that with this war, it will come a time where their food would be top seller on the market. Yeah. It will be the only available food for us at a point in time too. You understand? <coughs> but so, you know something? I know something I observed today with the comments. Now they have go post that they have 1.07 million pounds of, of uh, cassava. Mm -hmm. Coming and available. That 1.7 million pounds can be turned into flour, right? Because mm -hmm. flour. You know, where's the comments people making? Yeah, but them <laughs> kind of flour is for the middle class people. And that kind of flour, the price they're selling that for. They, they, mm -hmm. you, you know, but you're paying for, uh, for food outside our bundle of money for other things. But you're complaining. You're but, complaining and then you're classing the cassava with a certain kind of people. Uh -huh, go ahead. And that's what's coming on, Sarah. So you yeah. don't need to make. Okay, so you make cassava flour, right? It has plenty of corn. You could grate corn mixed with the cassava flour, wherever it is, and make cachapa like them Venezuelan or wherever it is. But the point is, mm -hmm. there are things available to be grateful for. Yes, plenty of right? things. Right? Look, I got some cabbage. We think I go and do. I want to stew cabbage, this kind of cabbage. You, you know your grandmother, right, Suzanne? When she go in the, and she used to go in the wholesale market in town, when she go, she see a bag of cucumber for, for $30 or $40, a bag. She buy a whole bag of cucumber. She buy a bag of this, a bag of that, because they're cheap, right? Melanjay mm -hmm. and a whole bag if she go down now. And when she come up the road now and she, 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 she see what's happening, she's she in, she, and she taking part, she send for Dr. Linda. She keeping part for herself. She dropping some in Barataria. Anybody else, yeah. you know, who thinks she give it to them. So <coughs> she buy a whole bag. Mm -hmm. So for the whole week, we eating a Melanjay or we eating cucumber with cricks or that snack, whatever it is. And it's not, we want hand them out. But we have it available, so we eat that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that I buy um, chicken and chips, right? Mm -hmm. Or, 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 or food outside. <clears throat> yeah. But there are ways that we could get around it. And there are ways we could get around it, but people don't want to, uh, they, and, you know, and they don't want to change. They don't want to find, uh, you know, and they don't want to praise, to, 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 to put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. They, they love the mm -hmm. spirit of heaviness. One, yeah. uh, one night we sat down here and I was talking about psychology and what the psychiatrists and them say. They say people who depress and people who, who continue talking like that is, a, is, is an addiction, you know. They love feeling yeah. bad, you know, feeling sorry for themselves. It's mm -hmm. an addiction. They don't want to mm -hmm. come out of that. Oh, uh, uh, I will, I will, oh God. Every, they just cloud over me every time. It's an addiction. They, they enjoy feeling sorry for themselves. Yeah. And they don't want to shake themselves out of it. It becomes yeah. an addiction. I can't remember the name of the man, but I have his book. On the Kindle lamb thing, but right. that that is one of the things. One of the things we have to look at. One of the things we 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 we, we have to discuss. Now, I I I look at. I, I don't really care. And so I want influencers. I really don't care, or don't worry about how many views or because I have my YouTube channel and I I, I post everything and we discuss there. And I've, I've 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 got some views and reviews. But what I'm saying is, um, I, I'm not worried about that now because if god would have us here speaking like this and 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 giving people and people hope speaking about the bible later on later on somebody will look at it when it is not available when nobody is available to uh, and to give them a word it could be my grandchildren or anybody and they see that they will get a yeah. word of hope and they'll, they'll find yeah. hope and they'll understand so i am not worried about how many likes we get or how many people we reach over it is later on god I works in mysterious ways. He may have us here doing this for later on, you know. Yeah. How many correct. people you know? There are many people who whose life's work, right, is now flowing after they died for years. True. And that's what I'm saying. So while they're alive, mm -hmm. nobody paying attention. After they die now, they'll die and you know everything flow. I've seen um it, it had a woman um fighting for 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 for, for, for women's right after she died, years after she died, and they passed the law. Right? right, so mm -hmm. it was her life's work, but it mean it wasn't necessarily <clears throat> meant for her to enjoy 
the the the, yeah. the and the privilege of seeing her life's work f- uh, um, and bear fruit. So yeah. the same thing. I'm not worried about about you discussing. Look at Disney. Rather. Look at Disney too. Same same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So and then going um, on, going strong. We have to keep focus. We have to keep that mantle of praise mm-hmm. on that garment, that cloak of praise on. Because if we only continue allowing heaviness to come out of our mouth, failure and um, and, and weakness, that is the, the, the end of that for people. And, and you have a lot of hopeless people here. True. True. So, <clears throat> so as we on here, we are your influencers, right? We are some positive influencers. Okay, so flower no. went up. But then we have, look at how many cassava, look at how many sweet potatoes and other provisions that we have right so we are influencers on here on social media as well too so what i want to say is that don't jump on a bandwagon that an influencer may have started started up something you know you stop and you think and reason in your mind and let the holy spirit that living in you bring reason to you as well too to say here what it must have something else i could thank god for yeah it must have something else i could eat in my budget yeah. You know, and I um, um, may not be able to afford doubles at eight dollars or ten dollars or how many dollars up it going, but you know something, it might work out good for my cholesterol. Yeah, because it might work out good. It might work out good for my uh, my weight loss program too. It had more. It had more <laughs> slim. It had, it had more slim people in the seventies than it have now. <clears throat> I'm looking at that picture with that, but I would pick you and I say, but hey, we was real small and thin long time. Look how fat half of them people get who I know. Um, Lyndon, he put up some, he made a comment and it real make me laugh. He said, and all you wanted to go on a no flower diet. Yeah. <laughs> and that is true. You're going on a no flower diet. Well, maybe this is the real reason you should really stop yeah. and not buy the flower. Keto. If it's high. Uh, everybody going on keto. Mm-hmm. Yeah, keto. But or... but but you see, Sarah, the thing about it, if you buy a bag of flour, right? Mm-hmm. If you buy a bag of flour, and you and let's say buy, I, I, I mean, I have a, a two pound of white flour, and you mix that with corn flour, it makes up, it make a very good dumpling. That's yes, what I'm saying. Is corn meal so, still? So, and don't think the price of corn meal went up as yet? No, I talking about you mix corn. We we planting corn here. We have on keto no roast corn. Or boil corn, we Greek all them thing and make um thing. But the point is, if you mix, if if, if to, to make a dumpling, of course, in your five dollars, right? Or two dumplings, it's costing you five dollars. And you make the, <coughs> you mix it with corn flour, and you can make four dumplings for the same five dollars. <coughs> Excuse me, economizing. Yeah. Or cassava flour. So, so you stretch so, it. Is, is, so you yeah, stretch it, yeah. And that's, and, and that's how it could work. Yeah. Instead of complaining and bowling, well, oh, you know, things so hard and, and, and spreading a set of heaviness all over the place. And then let me Find tell you what it is for. too. These influencers, they, like that is their agenda. Let's just say, right? That's their agenda to focus on that negative thing as what you say is a spirit of heaviness come out from your breath and your mouth, right? That's what they teach them, right? So these influencers, now they would pinpoint and and make you focus that's what social media does it makes you focus on that one thing that one problem mm-hmm. you understand but they do make you focus on all the other good things around you know you look okay so the price of flour going up but that's a big thing you understand so you, you, they make you focus on that one issue that one problem right and that is where your focus is that's why I'm, i keep saying we have to stop you all have to stop and think for yourselves and as they say you know find things to thank god for <clears throat> so that's what it is they look to just focus on just that one thing and then when the flower gone up they will still be buying flour they will still be buying doubles fast food at the high price and then something else come about and they're going back and they focus on that thing again your focal point you look i'll show you something with gas people complain about gas right yeah i experimented it with gas <clears throat> are you solid with <throat> that unless if i go in somewhere far you know since since i young well i i'm much older than older 
I, I used to go in the gas station and put a hundred dollars and send my fifty dollars. I fill up my tank, right? So now as gas go up now, it's going to a hundred dollars for gas. Yeah. So I say, okay, a hundred for gas. But when I say I to fill my tank now, it's two hundred and something dollars. Mm -hmm. But I would only fill my tank when I have to, if I know I had to run uh, uh, if I have a lot of things to run, run my car, right? Mm -hmm. So your budget now was used to be a hundred dollars a week. But yeah. when you Put that same hundred dollars that you was putting a year ago before gas prices gone up, or two years ago, and you put a hundred dollars, and you look at where you're taking your gas tank, and you see you no know happen. I only drive in my car as far as this gas will take me, and the places that mm -hmm. are not necessary, I ain't going. You know mm -hmm. that hundred dollars will last you for the whole week. Yes, that is true. I see that happen. That is America. true. And also, when you're driving with AC, if you morning is cool, why are you putting on your AC for? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I, like no I like to feel it. I like to feel it. <clears throat> the, the wind going through my hair, so I, I take off my AC. Yes, and then to your body temperature as well, yeah. too. You it would always be yeah, correct. Yeah. At least it gives your body some time to sweat a little bit, too. No? Yeah. You know, so you don't always have to be riding in AC. At all times. Yeah. You're Some people glad to come to Trinidad to just to enjoy our yeah. heat for months. But we come in the traffic and it's cool and, and people free there. <laughs> oh, I want to wind up my glass before somebody come and rub me. Serious? They could rub you with your glass up. People get rubbed with their glass up. And break your glass and rub you right there too. Yeah. Or push a gun by your glass. Well, what are you doing? I mean, that wind it winding up? Yeah. Yeah. Just make Should sure, like, have plenty me. ways. Yeah. If I'm in a traffic jam, right? Uh, if I'm in a traffic jam and I sit down in my car and I relax, and I have my, my, my eyes on, the, on, the, on all three mirrors. All three mirrors. So I sit down, so I glance in. So, one, I look in, in, my, in my review mirror and on my left mirror to see if an ambulance coming for me to push on this uh, and go on the side. Not so? Right. You're supposed yeah. to look to see if an ambulance, or if a motorbike man coming, I bring on a wanted turn or, or you think so, you know? I'm, I'm aware of what's going on around and we have to train ourselves for that. Yeah. So you don't have to drive with AC on all the time. We have to start to find ways to, um, to economize. And we can't live the way we, we live in, our, in, in the boom days because if you want to survive, we have to understand that we have to adjust, make certain adjustments. Mm -hmm. And you can't live an ex extravagant life anymore. Right? Mm -hmm. If you want to survive around this time. And yeah. have something for your children too. <clears throat> Yeah. And be able to help your children and grandchildren. So that's my contribution for today, yes? Yeah, true. True, true, true. There are a lot of economical ways and simple, simple solutions that you could do and practice. And let me tell you something, eh? You know when it is learn these things? We know when it is learn these little nicks and knacks and how you could cut back and thing. When it is, you don't have the resources to spend. Is you ever realize at the times, at the times when just say you're low in cash or low in funds and things, then you realize, oh, gosh, you know, I could survive on like bare minimum. You know, I have seen God come true for me and my parents and my friends and people. I've, see, I've seen God come true for us many times. You may you you may look for at the cruise of oil and the the the, the thing of flour and say it lasts for a long time. But there are times when your family will be going through certain things and all of a sudden, I I I <clears throat> I remember David saying, "Lord, I don't want to be so rich where I would forget you, yeah, boy. or so poor that I would be ashamed." David said that the psalmist, "Lord, I don't want to be so rich so that I would forget you, and so poor that I would be ashamed." Right, what we have, what David had was enough, yeah. Because many people, when they have too much, they forget God. But when yeah. you have enough, and sometimes if you have <clears> little, <throat> that is when you just really appreciate God working and God moving. Mm -hmm. Because when you have True. more than enough, God have no reason, and you have no reason to, to, to pray to God, you have no reason to, um, and you know, to um, look for God, and you know. Praise him for some yeah. the, the, the small things they, they have. Feel, they feel they have no reason. Yeah, and, and you feel as you alone make all that face. Yeah, exactly. You alone they feel they have no reason. Yeah. But he walking behind the scenes to keep you going. I've seen mm -hmm. him many times in my life. 
many, many times in all kind of different situations. Until I was counting yeah. that, <clears throat> I was checking on that because you had to be grateful. And you know, it took yeah. me through so many things in my life. So many times I could have died and, and, and so many and testimonies I have and thing and, and, and uh, thing I am. I cannot be but grateful to God um, for the things yeah. he do for me. And to continue to find ways to thank him. <coughs> and to thank sure. him so that he will be glorified. And that's the reason. You see, people don't understand. I'm based on the scripture I know I read here in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1 to 3. God gave you all those things so that he would be glorified in you know, the last line in Isaiah 61 and verse 3 says, so that he would be glorified in you know. You see, yeah. people don't recognize sure. when they give thanks and they give praise and they are grateful that they glorify in God. People don't recognize that. You know. mm -hmm. they, don't, they also don't recognize that when they're not giving God praise and they're not thanking him for the things they have, they're not glorifying God. They, they most likely will be glorifying the devil. Yeah. Well, yeah. I like Bob Mali. You see, when you get up and you quarrel every day, you're saying prayers to the devil, I say. Hmm. Which was right. When yeah. you get up and you're, and, you're, and you're ungrateful for the things you have every day, you're saying prayers to the devil. <clears throat> so mm -hmm. <clears throat> let me just pray and move on. Yeah. All right. So are we ready to close? <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so we just want to reiterate, find something to give God thanks for it. That's okay, flower winter, but here's what we have cassava, we have other provisions. As they say, corn flour, corn meal, you could buy a flour, mix it, stretch it. You understand? But you know something when you buy a flour, pray for it, bless it. <laughs> and as the and as the lot of um, you know. And let me tell you how this does work. I had a challenge. Uh, it's your ID limit, right? I had a challenge. Mm -hmm. This ain't working, that ain't working. This ain't working, that and that ain't working. I didn't have a message until last night. I didn't have right. a topic to discuss until last night. And then I say, you know what? I come and I, I sit down by myself. And I think, you know, I say, there must be, I had a thank God. Because I feel in, I feel in, Something I'm feeling I'm picking up our in the atmosphere. Yeah. I still like it must have something to thank God for. And I sit down and I start to thank God. And all of a sudden, bam, all the answers to the challenges I had just came. Mm -hmm. So while you're praising God and you're thanking God for what you have, He does be showing you how to get out of wherever it is disturbing you. Yeah, I've true. seen that from experience. Mm -hmm. So ungrateful people will always be in a mess, but once you are grateful to God. And God will be glory and, and, and give him glory. He is going to reciprocate and give you the answers to whatever challenges you have. Yeah, and true. peace. He will also mm -hmm. give you peace in the challenges. And you will know when, when you make a right decision because you'll have the peace of God that surpasses all yeah. understanding. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get out of situations and you want to have peace in your life, find something to thank God for. David used to yeah. always thank God in all the situations he was in. Look at all these Sam. David always in a problem. It looked like he have a magnet for problem. And what happened to David? He always gave God thanks. Yeah. He had so much things. And I was, I'm, I'm with him. Absalom, his son, want to kill him and take the throne. Saul want to kill him because Saul, Saul jealous, right? You know, the Philistines want to kill him. Everybody want to kill him. He had to run. But what happened now? He always thank God in his Psalms. He always finds something to thank God for. And, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and a, lot of, a lot of preachers and, and Bible scholars speak about the ministry of David coming back, you know. But everybody feels the, the ministry of praise. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, the ministry of praise. But when you are in a critical situation and when we are going through the experiences that the world is experiencing now, this is the time when the ministry of David, which is the, psalm, the psalms and spiritual hymns, and, 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 and hymns of praise and songs of praise. This is the time, right? We need to praise God more. So that, we, yeah. and you know, because, and this is, is when we need to, to glorify Him more because somebody, the whole business say it could have been worse, boy. Yeah, boy. And, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, true. Um, so we were close in two minutes ago, yeah. so we were finally close. Or the close. tabernacle of David is what, is what I mentioned. You see, the tabernacle of David. Right. Is what we talk about. 
And mm. last week, I'm going to talk about all the Greek gods. I ain't studied it is afterwards it come to mind. When I say about all the Greek gods together and, 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 they, and they have all the Greek gods, just call it the Greek pantheon. So the Greek pantheon okay. is all the Greek gods put together, Zeus and whoever all them devils and them is. <clears throat> okay? Right. Mm -hmm. So, very close up. Um, yeah, um, Becky sent out a message that um, Javid was undergoing surgery at 3 o'clock. So they were having like prayer meeting, a prayer, a prayer um, meeting happening that time now. So, yeah, um, yeah, so I'll just uh, mention Javid tonight and we'll just close off with a short word and then we'll dismiss. So, Heavenly Father, we just thank you tonight to God, Lord, for your word, for your wisdom, especially your God. <coughs> for everybody who's out there who've been um, jumping on the bandwagon with these influencers about rising um, prices, price increases, Lord, help, help them to... Um, realize lord that you know something they have a mind of their own they have a brain of their own to stop and to think for themselves that here what well, there are many other solutions and um and many other solutions to um you know these rising prices of oh god heavenly father let them oh god lord tonight have um grateful hearts lord open up their eyes to see Oh, God, Heavenly Father, there are many other things that they can focus on and thanking you rather than complaining and finding faults, oh, God, Lord. And, Lord, tonight, oh, God, we just thank you for Javid, oh, God. We pray, oh, God, Lord, that your will continue to be done in his situation, oh, God. And we pray that to just comfort the Beitru family at this time, oh, God, Lord, and, um, you know, just um, reign peace over them, oh, oh, God. And, Lord, we just thank you for doing it tonight, oh, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, so that... Uh -huh. In closing, uh, uh, while you're praying, I just remember a psalm of David. I can't remember it's 34, verse 1, or wherever it is. Mm -hmm. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Mm -hmm. All times, that, and good times, bad times. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his mm -hmm. praise shall continually be in my mouth. Take that yes. out of David, Sam. <clears throat> Bless the Lord at all times and let his praise be continually in your mouth. And look yeah. at the difference in your life and the situations around you. Yeah, true. It mightn't change immediately. It mightn't be easy, but the point is you have the strength for God to take it through and you don't have that, 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 um, that, that, that um, spirit of heaviness covering you. Yeah, true. By, uh, through your mouth. <laughs> <clears throat> So, so um, yeah, have a blessed night. Continue to have a blessed week. And um, you'll always see us back again on Sunday. Please go at 10 a.m. for our Sunday morning service. So I'll be playing um, advice from Iha this afternoon. Um, it was written by my dad. It was his first know, song that he recorded. Uh -huh. Go ahead. You know the song I wanted to play? I sang it. <coughs> I sang it in karaoke last night for Linda. Well, uh -huh. I, ain't get, I ain't get great reviews. Eh? I ain't uh -huh. get great reviews. From singing any karaoke, but there's a song called uh, "In Christ Alone." Oh, that song real nice. Uh -huh. and, and very deep, deep song. I like that the song. Us. Was written, but I want to play it tonight. Yeah? But when I try to download it, and they say that's um, with the lyrics, and they say that is um, copyright. But I'll tell you something about that song. Mm -hmm. That song, Martin Luther, the German reformer, wrote that song in the middle of the Black Plague. The yeah. uh, bubonic plague in the 1500s mm -hmm. in the middle while he and his wife was taking care of people who had the plague and they didn't know what was causing it and if they would survive but they were taking care of the people who had the plague right. and i'll tell you the last the, the, and the last um verse and chorus mm -hmm. in, in that is he say and here's what he's saying he say um if if christ um should come or call if Christ should come or calls me home, right? If Christ mm -hmm. should come or call him home, no, but when he start off, am I saying no devil in hell, no scheme of man could ever pluck him from his hand? If Christ should come or calls him home, right? If Christ mm -hmm. should come or call him home, right? Here in the in the here in the in the in the here in the um under well here in the in the presence of Christ he will live. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm I saying. I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's a real deep, deep song. I really that like song, it. Uh, that song. To bring tears to your eyes. Yeah. That's what take it through because because of how it was written. It was written in the in the middle of a plague with destruction and people dying. Two thirds or a third of Europe died in that, and that man stamp and write that in the middle of that plague. Martin yeah. Luther. If it's yeah. one thing that he wrote that I've taken with me for the rest of my life is that song. I sing that yeah. song every time I feel a heaviness. Yeah, true. True. You know? Real nice song. You know, that song to ever lose the essence. You know, yeah. you know the thing. So I find it in the and... church. <clears throat> yeah, it's true. It's a very old song too, you know. So church want to play the more upbeat, more modern songs, you know. But that song never lost it. But should um, play the song with the anointing. Yeah. Play the anointed song. Where it's not a show you're putting on in church for people to pose and and, 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 and rock the mic and, 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 and move all about. No, you want the anointing. Anointed no, song. That is why and, I started know. off the program tonight with what is your reason for doing what you're doing? Are you doing it for the praise of man, fan award? Or are you doing it, you know? Why? What is your reason? So you just wrap up the program with that as well too. Yeah. You, want All right. to rock out, you want to rock out. They want to rock out on the on the um on the thing. <coughs> no. <laughs> what is your reason? Right, water. <clears throat> uh -huh. yeah. So we'll close with some um, advice from the heart. It was recorded in the studio, written as well too by our very own here, Anthony Glenn Das, my dad. And I just see it, right? He just asked me to do the video, right? <laughs> he just asked me I'm not no professional right he just asked me to do the video and I did it yeah. to the best of my ability so here right. goes have a good night we love you all and stay strong stay strong and when it gets out in time go and listen to that song in Christ alone so we love you all from all of us here at Scarlet Thread Ministries and we'll see you back again on you all will see us back again sorry um, on Sunday please go for our Sunday morning service right so Goodbye for now. Bless. I sit down to write a gospel lip so Cause I hear it too much much on the radio Right from the start I make up my mind The past never singing about no drum and wine Write a song just to win a crown But to edify, build up and to make you strong Who don't want to hear, well then they go feel The adversary comes to kill and to steal I want my friends and them go to hell When Basil come and start to ring up the bell I hope you don't mind, I'm trying to give advice The only way to make it is to follow Christ He came down here to show all of us the way so we wouldn't have no problems on judgment day. In these days with knowledge on the increase, we got to guard against the mark of the beast. The earth is full of violence and full of hate. We must be patient and keep the faith Let not your heart be troubled, you must be bold Though the love of many people waxing in coal Man look up and don't you submit to fear It's just your redemption that's drawing near And I want my friends and them go to hell When Basil come and start to ring up the bell I hope you don't mind, I'm trying to give advice Way to make it is to follow Christ He came down here to show all of us the way So we wouldn't have no problems on judgment day The fool said in his heart that there is no God The beginning of wisdom is Fear of the Lord, look how much you quake, hurricane and flood. It's time to repent and get under the blood. I'm telling you, my friends, look all your air blind. The days we live in, in is the end of time. You can try to run, but you cannot hide.
very soon the groom come in for the bride. And I want my friends and them go to hell. When Basil come and start to ring up the bell. I hope you don't mind, I'm trying to give advice. The only way to make it is to follow Christ. He came down here to show all of us the way. So we wouldn't have no problems on judgment. If things so bad you feel there's no hope You want to give up because you just can't cope No matter how you try you feel you and distress Do you sacrifice and you try your best I want you to remember the man from the cross He came down here so far, now he is the boss Don't forget the pain may last for one night And the darkest hour comes right before the light Lord, I want my friends and them go to hell When Basil come and start to ring up the bell I hope you don't mind, I'm trying to give advice The only way to make it is to follow Christ He came down here to show all of them the way So they wouldn't have no problems on judgment day I am the pastor And I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises in judgment against you, you will condemn. For that is the inheritance of the children of God. Be strong.